Good morning everyone and welcome to Air at Military Collectibles. So me and this retrobit are on our way to Stoneleigh Military Affair. So stay tuned for some entertaining misery and hardship. Rusty and gold. Rusty gold, yes. So we have arrived at, the, at Stoneleigh. No one's asked for his passport. Yes, not yet anyway. So let's see where we go. So we're at the end of a fantastic weekend at Stoneleigh Military Fair. Um, I'm on the way home now, I'm in Birmingham Airport waiting on my flight. Um, some nice little things picked up, uh, the video, uh, an unpacking part of this video, and you will see them. Um, sorry I didn't get much footage of the actual show because it was very hard to film in there, it was so packed. Plus there was pickpockets around the place so I didn't want to take my phone out, put it in and out the whole time. But that, uh, pickpocket situation was dealt with fairly fairly quickly and I believe the person was found um, so yeah so that was good but uh, other than that fantastic trip um, Danny thank you very much for putting me up uh, for looking after me and uh, as always and um, I'll see you the next time so guys I hope you enjoy the video so here we are um, time for the unboxing of what stuff I got um, at Stoneley Military Affair um, sorry I didn't take more shots of the actual fair itself. It was just very, very difficult job because you have to take a phone in and out of your pocket. Um, plus there were so many people there. It was just it was just a bit crowded. So I did the best I could. I'm sorry. So what did I pick up? Well, I picked up some few bits and pieces. First thing I did was I picked up these uh, reproduction shoulder titles for the Royal Ulster Rifles. Um, which I'm putting an impression together, if anyone doesn't know that I am putting an impression together of the Royal Ulster Rifles, so that, that came in very handy. Uh, I did get some more, show, uh, another set of shoulder titles that belong to the 4th SAS, these are re also reproduction, um, but I did get an original Monster of Fusiliers cap badge, which uh, was my great grandfather's regiment, so yeah, so picked that up, which was nice. Um, now, so we'll go to the reference books. This is um, it's a wartime publication by uh, by Air to Battle. Um, it's about the paratroopers and stuff like that. Reference books is always a must to pick up at shows and stuff like that because um, you find them cheap enough and things like that. Anyway, we have cap badges of the British Army 1930-1945. Another little reference book. And these two then are... First World War cap badges and Second World War cap badges. Um, it's 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 not a bad idea to have different books of the same subject by from different people because some people have different information. Everyone's interpretation of things is different. So yeah, so there are the books, the cap badges. Now this is obviously just a cheap and cheerful fifty a pattern um, water bottle pouch. I need this for a project. That's why I picked that up. Now this is very very good um, and I believe it's uh, so I picked this up uh, not actually at Stoneley at a different shop um, that we were going to and uh, I, I was there with my friend Danny and um, he was showing me around and we found a, a little antique shop and this was in the window so I said yeah I'll take it uh, it only cost me £10 but what it is it's an absolute mint in condition box um, I was actually looking for 15 for it but I got him down to 10 pounds but it's an absolutely mint size medium civilian um, respirator now the ideal thing about this is the plastic hasn't perished the rubber is 100% it is uh, um, literally 100% um, mask and it is 1939 dated so yeah so there you go it's even got a little uh, what you see go and see some of them coming with is this cardboard piece at the bottom for uh, putting the respirator in so there you go so yeah so id really really like that it's even got the size m marked at the top but we will do a video on this because i do have one in my collection as well but uh 
obviously this is the piece, the resistance one. Um, next, this uh, is a rain jacket um, by Peter, Peter Storm. These were privately purchased around the time of the Falklands off banner stuff like that. So I picked this up for my uh, SAS Falklands impression that I'm working on. So that can. Then Danny kindly gifted me some of this stuff. Um, this is a Air Force flight crew um, used in Afghanistan and Iraq uh, jacket. But this, these were also used by Navy SEALs. So yeah, so that's an, another interesting little jacket. Now we will be doing videos on all of these, um, all of these uh, items throughout the throughout this course of the videos. The next thing we have then is an SAS windproof smock, a gabardine material one, which is ideal. This is uh, air, middle eighties, um, early eighties, middle eighties. So another ideal little project. And then another piece of resistance, the an awful lot of that I've been looking for for absolute ages and actually uh, I was there with another friend of ours and he literally pointed at the stall and went do you not want that and uh, yeah so it was the Air uh, Lovett Scouts um, Ackle um, it looks black but it's not it's actually navy blue this is to finish off an impression it came with cap badge the whole lot uh, very very reasonable price <coughs> so I picked it up um, yeah the Argyle or the Lord Lovett Scouts. Um, so yeah, there you go, already shaped. That's another way to tell if something's original. Have a look at it. Is it shaped? Does it have sweat marks on it? So there you go. Now, I just do have one more item, so I'll go and get it now and come back to you. So, sorry about that. These items are already on display in, in my little museum, so I have to go and get them. So, plastic 80s water cup. Um, this one is 95. We were actually issued these as well in the Irish Defence Forces. So, yeah, there you go. But this, I've never seen one of them for sale in the south. Um, so I picked it up. Uh, it was a bargain if you ask me. Uh, this is the PSNI, Police Service of Northern Ireland, current issue cap. Now this would mean that I have every cap that the uh, British Police Forces used in Northern Ireland. So I have RIC. I have B specials, I have regular RUC, and now I have this. So I was really, really chuffed to get this. So, yeah, so this is all my bring backs from Stoneley Military Affair. I will be there again next year. Um, definitely, I definitely will be there again next year. I just want to repeat my thanks to Danny and his family for having me over. I want to repeat all my mates for meeting up with me at Stoneley. Um, I want to kindly and thank the um, subscriber that came up to me I, I can't remember I can't, I'm sorry if I forgot your name but you came up to me and uh, introduced yourself and you knew who I was at one of the stalls so I just want to say you're more than welcome if you ever see me out guys you're more than welcome to come over and say hello to me um, and that's it so I hope you enjoy if you were at Stoneley I hope you enjoyed yourself I hope to see you there next year and so that's it guys so if you like what we provide here at Air at Military Collectibles, please like, please subscribe and please tune in for the next video. And if you want to get in contact with the channel, as always, there is an email at the top of the video description. Thank you.